Hi guys, welcome to a mini haul. Um, I was at Hobby Lobby today and I picked up just a few things. I wouldn't call this a full haul video, um, but it was enough stuff um, and some interesting, unique stuff that I thought you guys might like um, and enjoy seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got at um, Hobby Lobby. Usually I do my shopping at Joann's. They have a better selection of what I'm looking for, um, but my local Joann's does not and I didn't feel like driving a long way today. So um, the very first thing I have is a set of alphabet stamps by Stampability. I uh, believe that is a Hobby Lobby brand. But the thing I love is these stamps come with these cute little embellishments, um, hearts and flowers. Um, there's also multiple stamps of each letter. So if the word contains more than one letter, you're not having to stop, peel the letter off and um, move it around to get more than one of the same letter in a whole word, which is really cool. Uh, my next stamp set is by Sizzix, and this is just a super cute cupcake set. Um, it has a, um, some really fun, cute sayings. Um, Lucky you, celebrate, make a wish. Um, but it also has this really cute stand of cupcakes, and then this big cupcake with a um, little... Um, toothpick looking like banner coming out of it with a sentiment so it's it's a really cute set my next set is a delusions um i almost call this like a groovy font because it reminds me of like a 70s hippie font um, it's really fun it looks like it's going to stamp slightly distressed which is neat um, but it's something very different i have um only a few alphabet stamp sets and I really need to get away from the one I use all the time even though it's a wonderful set um, I wanted to switch it up a little bit so I found a few sets um, today that I'm really happy with I think I'll be using in some upcoming videos here's another um, stamp abilities which I again believe is a Hobby Lobby brand um, this is just a stamping block um, just a clear acrylic stamping block um, in a slightly smaller size than the one I have so I was excited about that. Um, here is a paper set by Prima. Um, it is probably one of my favorite paper sets I've ever found. It has a lot of really cool um, designs and I plan on using it for um, mainly backgrounds but I also believe I will use it um, for um, paper piecing possibly as well. There's a few uh, patterns in there that I think would work really well for that. So I'm really excited about this paper set um, in particular. And they were on sale um, today 50% off, so that's exciting. The next thing that I purchased is um, some Liquitex Matte Gel. Um, I usually use matte medium, so I was interested in using some matte gel for my paper piecing and um, for use on my backgrounds. I've played with it a little bit since making this video, and I've got to say I'm extremely happy with it. And while I probably still find uses for the matte medium, I'm really happy with the matte gel. Um, the next thing I got was some pink soap just to clean and condition my brushes. Um, I haven't been using anything but just water and I'm pretty hard on my brushes so um, I'm hoping that this is going to help. Um, I believe the brand is called Mona Lisa. The next thing I got is a Fiskars Precision Cutter. This thing is, um, I've picked it up a few times and then I've put it back, I never purchased it, but I'm finding uses for it, so I went ahead and picked it up. This was one of my favorite purchases. Um, it's a little mini craft cutter. Um, I've played with it a little bit um, with a new page that I've been working on and I'm really happy with it. It's pretty sharp, it cuts really clean, so I like that. Um, I got a set of Master's Touch brushes. Um, I was there's a couple that are in this set that I have been needing, like the fan brush, and um, I probably will be using that for splattering. And then um, the brush that's just there to the right of it, I'm excited to have as well. I uh, finally the last thing I purchased was some Bombay India ink. 
in white and I've already played with it a little bit I'm not um, I'm not a complete stranger to India ink but I haven't purchased it loose like this before usually it comes in a marker or a pen that I've used um, so this is the first time I've actually just bought the ink itself and so far I am in love with it you're definitely going to see it probably in my next video so this has been my little mini haul. Like I said, I wouldn't consider this a full haul, but um, if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, let me know, make a comment, um, thumbs up is always appreciated, and subscribe to the channel. There is more um, art journaling and crafting to come. Thanks, guys.